farmer friend singer-songwriter Lyle Strickland. And that's farmer friend and jack-of-all-trades Chris Horn. And we're Those Those Taste Bud Guys. Wow. (laughs) Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining us. Um, You know, I'm Chris, that's Lyle, all that normal stuff. Um, Which I think we already said that. The voiceover guys said that. Oh yes, the very professional the voiceover professional guys. voiceover guys. <laughs> uh, okay, what are we working with today? Well, we're going to do something that is uh, more towards our area. But first, like and subscribe. We're trying to hit a hundred subscribers. I got I got to do the pitch. Yes, this time. you did. I would. <laughs> I wish you'd do that more. Actually. Um, yeah, it helps us out tremendously. So. Yeah. Back to the whiskey. Growth is good. Uh, so this come out of Arkansas, out of Little Rock specifically. They are the first um, actual licensed distiller in Arkansas, and this oh. is Rocktown Distillery. That's an interesting fact. It is. Um, you know. There's a big factoid on him if you walk in their whole thing when you go down and take their tour, uh-huh. which I highly recommend. You did speak highly of the tour. One of the best tours I've ever had in a distillery. Now, granted, I've not did that many distilleries, but for the ones around here, it by far is the best one. They really take their time and educate you, uh, walk you through the process, um, take you into every room, and at the end of it, it's a fantastic tasting. Um, This is the uh, Hickory Smoked Whiskey. It's not a bourbon, it's just a regular whiskey. It was 40, yeah, 45%, it's a 90 proof whiskey. Um, they use it primarily for mixing drinks down there. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, we want to just drink it. So this is not a bourbon. It's not a bourbon. It's, it's just a whiskey. It's not a scotch style. Nope. It's just a whiskey. Just a whiskey. And I'm gonna let you pour a couple glasses. Um, and I will say, one thing, nice thing about them is everything they do is, um, <laughs> Procured locally if it can be. Oh, that's kind of cool. Um, so, which is real pretty cool. Like I say, I really like the uh, the distillery. Um, some of their stuff is very, very good. Uh, and they make some gins and they make some infused stuff. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. And. <laughs> Allergies. I Allergies. Couldn't, I couldn't help it. Um. So one thing I was reading about this, this is made with a lot of Arkansas winter wheat. Yep. Which is interesting to me. This is becoming a habit. I think a lot of editing if we keep that up. Uh, red, red winter wheat aged in our own ex bourbon casks. Uh, prior to mashing, so they this is aged in a cask that's already had bourbon in it. So there's that. Uh, prior to mashing, we hickory smoke the wheat, just like good old southern barbecue. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so, this is a whiskey, and I'm sneezing. (laughs) Yeah, so this is a, a whiskey, it's not a bourbon or anything like that. However, it was aged in bourbon casks. Okay. So once they did it, it was their cask. They made their bourbon there, and then they, they aged it in the cask. So passport. that sounds more like a scotch, but it's not made with the malt, uh, malted yes. barley. Right, right. This so. has the red winter wheat in it, um, and I think he said something about there's hickory smoke, which is why this was the hickory smoked one. Yeah. Um, aged in our own ex-bourbon cask. Prior to making, uh, we hickory smoked the wheat just like good old southern barbecue. There should be a comma in there, guys. <laughs> I don't want to be that guy, but that's hard to read. Uh, copper pot still, finest Arkansas roads. Wait, this is uh, batch number 36, age 26 months in used charred oak barrel. So similar to Ranger Creek, they use their own bourbon barrels to age this that's whiskey. what I understand. Now, okay. I not only that, now I know several places yeah. that buy their barrels and age their stuff in it, oh. including uh, our very own meter here. Oh, okay. Cool. So, there's been... All right. Yeah, these guys get around a little bit. If you're in the mid- middle of the United States, you might notice them a bit. Well, let's have a sniff of this and see if I can't sneeze into it. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be messy, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you what do you pick up on that? Roses. 
flowers, butter. There's a little like, uh, like a honey, honey peach in there. Peach I'll give you or something light and fruity like that, but, uh, there's a sweetness in there that I'd, I'd attribute to honey. Okay, no, I'm with you on the honey too. Oh, there, there it is. You're right. It yeah. is a little bit akin to that uh, Texas honey. To Texas right? honey. Yeah. You, there's that. There's that weird. The silver star. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, and, and the smoke is incredibly light. I don't even know that I could tell you it was hickory, but you can just vaguely get a hint of smoke. Yeah. And that may be me making it up because I know it's smoked <laughs> instead of just having the, the uh, oak smell. So we've had a little bit of this. I've had it before. I was not that big of a fan. But I also didn't like the rim fire that once I understood it was not a bourbon, and I should have just read the label, because why wouldn't you read the label? Because we don't do that here. Yeah, never. Um, I liked it a little better, so I'm going to give this a fresh shot. That is really hot for 45%. There's a sweetness to it that I don't quite... It's not exactly what I'm looking for. I don't mind the sweetness. There is a incredibly high alcohol burn to it. Yep. That, um, you it's, know, probably I should have got a little bit of water and tried. I've never tried this with the water back. It's really bright. And, um... It is very bright, but it's very young. Yeah. 26 months, it said it was aged. So, yeah. that's, you know, that's, that's a little bit young. Um, coloration on it is not necessarily dark. This picture actually pretty... pretty well, it's light. akin to a scotch, right? Yeah, it's, it's a light, a heavy scotch. Or you might say it's akin to like a nice golden honey wheat. <laughs> I think you're right. I, I will say that this this is interesting. That I've, I'm not sure I've had a whiskey with wheat before. I've had a lot of wheat beers. So I will say they make a couple mixed drinks down there with mm -hmm. this one. Mm -hmm. That is fantastic. Okay. Um, this is probably not my favorite of their whiskeys. I, I will be the first to admit. I don't find it necessarily bad. It's different. Uh-huh. And again, if we're going back and mixing, man, is it really good. I could see this in a nice cocktail. Yeah. It's uh, straight by a, itself, this is not my favorite. They make a hickory old-fashioned that is, I mean, you know, I like old-fashioned anyhow. And it is very, very tasty because now that you add that. a little bit of fruit to it and a little bit of yeah. sugars. Yeah. Um, really brings out the hickory in it. Straight drinking. I don't know. It, it, maybe with a little bit of water back or over ice, I think it would mellow out that heat. I think I'd have to go water back because it's pretty thin. I don't think, the, I think the ice would you're, you're probably right. knock it down too much. Yeah, you're probably right. Um, I can't say enough about what a neat place it is if you get a chance to go down there. You did talk about it for weeks. I don't think <laughs> this is the whiskey you want to base your experience off of necessarily. Um, well, this is, this is an interesting uh, bottle. This is not like... This is not something you're going to find somewhere. They're, they're, no. This is not trying to compete with other bourbons or other scotches, right? No. This is their no. own. This is their own thing. thing. Their and own they are thing. they are aging out some bourbons and stuff like that. Doing several yeah. interesting things. They've got some infused uh, vodkas and gins down there, mm -hmm. uh, which I have, I've got some of them as well. Um, really neat. Uh, they're they're they've got a nice tap room, so to speak. Uh, pouring, I guess, it's still a tap room if it's a distillery. I'm not sure. Maybe. Tasting room. Taste tasting room. room. Yeah, that's what it They've is. They've got a nice tasting room. They make some <laughs> fantastic mixed drinks down there. Yeah. And like I said, their tour is unparalleled. Parking could use some work. <laughs> but it is Little Rock, so all of Little Rock's parking could use some work. No. However, if you get a chance, go down and check them out. Um, I bought this one because I loved the mixed drinks so much. I want to be able to make them here. Um, we just decided since we already had it open, we should take the opportunity to go ahead and put it on the show. Knowing that it wasn't necessarily either one of our favorites. Um, don't want you to base your entire opinion on mom off this drink. It is still good, but if you're expecting a bourbon, it's not going to get you there. Well, it's not a bourbon. It's I mean, not a bourbon. I, I will say that knowing that, coming at it from that aspect... It's better than I remember it, and it makes me anxious to try 
They're okay. If I was going to compare this to any other whiskey that uh-huh. you might know, it would be uh, Suntory's Japanese whiskey. They're they're yes. So if yeah. you like Japanese whiskey, it's a lighter. Uh, body lighter flavored like that yeah. still has a high alcohol burn more so than the Japanese whiskey so it's not quite as smooth yeah but it's very akin in flavoring wise to a Japanese whiskey yeah so if that puts you in the realm of that that's where I would go with it so. okay all right well until next time <laughs> whether it be the whiskey you're sniffing whether it be the food you're eating or the clothes you're sniffing the people you're meeting. <laughs> Fine. Grab a buddy. Try something new. <laughs> <laughs>